Good evening. So I just got home from work, and uh, on the way home from work, I stopped at the garden center down the street, and I bought three orchids. I don't have space for them. I I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I've got some new orchids, and uh, yeah. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay. So you'll have to forgive me. I'm doing this one-handed because I don't have a tripod. I have a tripod, but it's a really crappy one, and uh, so I'm just going to try to do this one-handed. And uh, that sort of worked. Alright, so here's plant number one. Let's open it up and see what's inside. And this was my favorite of the bunch. This one is super pretty, I don't have an ID on it, but it is a Cymbidium, and it's very, very pretty. Now why did I buy Cymbidiums? I couldn't really tell you because I don't really have the proper environment for cymbidiums, but this is what I got. It's very, very pretty. So the unboxing thing wasn't really working the best considering I only had one hand to do it with, so we're just gonna go like this from now on. And here's plant number two. It's another cymbidium. Once again, why did I buy cymbidiums? I do not have the environment for it. I guess they're cool growing. Sorry for that noise earlier, that was the uh, microwave cooking me a potato. Um, yeah, so yeah, I don't have the environment for cymbidium, so uh, what am I going to do? Uh, they need cool temperatures in order to rebloom, this is what I've learned. But they're just so pretty, oh my god. And they smell like candy, they smell like candy, it's just so great. So this one smells kind of like guava, which is pretty cool. You can see that some of the blooms are starting to fall, and uh... Yeah, they're getting a little old and shriveled, but, um, yeah, it smells like guava. It's so pretty. This other one here, now, I just, I just love this one. I think it's so cool. And it smells kind of like pumpkin, almost, in a way. It's, it's a really interesting smell. So orchid number three is this half-dead Catalia. And I'll zoom in on the price tag here. It's $12.99. $12.99, my friends, this beautiful Catalia, which is a little worse for wear, but I think it won't be so bad. Um, oh, there goes the microwave again. There's a dried up bloom in here, but it's, uh, came from a Phalaenopsis, so, uh, it's definitely not a Catalia. Um, yeah, so, this pretty, uh, burgundy one, the price was marked from $44.99 down to $29, and since this one was almost finished, it was marked down to $17.99. So all of these were originally $45, and they all got marked down to lovely, lovely prices for me. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how all of this goes. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have to repot the cymbidiums, but um, I think I should probably repot the uh, Catalia. Actually, you know what, I should just go ahead and repot them all, because um, it's always a good idea to repot your orchids when you buy them. Because you don't know what's lurking in the soil. There could be pests, there could be all sorts of things. And um, the last time I bought a cymbidium from this place at the garden center down the street, um, it I repotted it a few months after I bought it to discover that it was totally, totally root bound, totally bound in its pot, and all the roots were rotten. All of the roots were rotten. Now that one I've dubbed the cymbidium that wouldn't die because it's still not dead. I've got a little growth of it. Uh, coming coming off and uh, and it seems to be stabilizing so yeah make another video in the future on the cymbidium that wouldn't die so hopefully I can get these cymbidiums to rebloom um, I'm gonna put them by the big window um, which will give them a reasonable amount of light and it will give them a bit of cold a bit of a colder temperature so hopefully that'll do it so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you shared my delight in discounted orchids because it's just so much fun to buy them and have them even if you can't, even if you don't have space for them or anything. Like, anyway, orchids are the best. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it and you want to see more like it, please subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, let's be friends. All right, bye.